This is Mandy Rockefeller. I'm standing outside of the home in Big Hole Meadows. This is, I'm standing at the entrance, so this is looking south and a little bit to the west to the apartment. Um, spinning around, this is the entrance to the house. Lots of snow in the shrubbery, but you can see there is shrubbery here. And then that is the driveway looking off to the north and east. We don't really have a view today, although it would have a nice view. Um, some things walking up to the house. I mean, the decking will eventually need to get restained, not in bad condition by any means. Uh, the exterior looks to have been restained fairly recently. There is some rough cut kind of wood paneling on the uh, ceiling outside. Nice deck space here, and it does wrap around. Um, I'll just pop around there really quickly, actually. So panning around here, the deck, you can see it's a nice space off of the north side of the house. So coming back around, um, I'll walk up to the front door. So stepping in the front door, off to the left, there is a coat closet. Here there's tile entry and then um, carpeting and hardwood mixed. There's a fireplace here and nice open living area with vaulted ceilings and then into your kitchen space. I'll step through and actually look back um, across the living area. The countertops are a granite countertop. Um, and I'll give you an idea also of views. So view would be to the north. If it'll focus on me. To the north and east. And then we've got our view out to sort of the north and west. Why is it? Uh, the house is partially fenced, and there is a little greenhouse space here behind the house. And then looking back across the living area, the hardwood floors appear to be in good condition. Um, I'll zoom in, you can kind of see. I don't think, I don't know how well it's showing up in the photo, but they don't appear to need any kind of repair work or have any issues. So looking um, to the kitchen. And then spinning around into the fireplace living area and then entertainment space. Walking now through the house. We have the master bedroom here, nice vaulted ceilings hardwood floors, some scratches and scuffing, not the end of the world, um, but eventually could be sanded and redone. A little built-in office space here. And then stepping into the room, it's actually a really great size. I mean, that's like a full-size dining table um, in the room. So it's really, really a nice size panning around You can see the um, like the vanity here. It's a little a little different, and then um, bedroom, and then the access to the bathroom. I truthfully don't know how difficult it would be. I can't imagine it would be too difficult to take that vanity and uh, slightly reconfigure this bathroom so that it wasn't inside the bedroom. You do have on this other wall here uh, a nice big tub so I think you could easily reconfigure the bathtub um, and kind of turn this space around and have your vanity inside the room um, so looking through her tile flooring toilet uh, shower and I'll turn around and I actually forgot to point out the closet but 
So turning around, this is the bedroom looking from the bathroom. You can see the hardwood flooring. And I'll walk back out. Oh, and views from the bedroom. They're pretty private. I mean, you have some trees to protect you. You'd be looking uh, to the south and west, uh, east, excuse me. So out. And then, yeah, this is a really great sized room, actually. I think you could absolutely do a lot with it. And then this would be ooh, closet space here. Um, substantial closet space, to be honest with you. And it actually goes, um, I don't know where the light, there it is. Okay, so substantial closet, if you can see that. Backing out of here, we'll continue down the hallway. So we have, um, this is just on the main entrance, so this would be your pantry area, kind of in the main hallway. And then we've got... Oh! I let the dog out! I'm so sorry! The living, <laughs> excuse me, laundry room here. And mechanical space here. Uh, washer and dryer, and then you have your access to the exterior. There's a little dog door there, and washer and dryer. Oh, cabinetry as well. Sorry, that looks bad. And then bathroom number two tile countertops. Um, and tiles around in the shower. It is a full shower bath situation. Nicely done. And then we have our two remaining bedrooms. So I'll just go here at the end of the hallway. Um, you can kind of see out, I think. So this view would be to the south and west. It's a beautiful view of the Big Hole Mountains. Carpeted. Um, the carpeting is slightly different than in the hallways. And then closet space here. Heat source is uh, forced air right there if you can see it. I'm not sure why there's a secondary heat um, in this room, but there's a forced air heat system. And then there's the third bedroom here. Again, carpeting. We have our closet space here. And then we've got the bedroom up here and around. And then you have also up here your attic access. A good sized bedroom. This is, a, I believe, a full bed and there's plenty of space on either side. And then you can obviously see the view out to the south. 